In this problem, we're told to estimate the pressure exerted on a floor by A, one pointed chair leg, 66 kg on all four legs of area 0.02 cm squared, and B, a 1300 kg elephant standing on one foot with an area of 800 cm squared. So, in order to solve this problem, there's a general formula you should know, which is that pressure is equal to force over area. So, what we can do is just solve for the force that these are exerting and divide it by the total area of them, and then we're going to be able to solve for the pr uh, pressure. So, let's go ahead and start with A. So, Think about the force being applied here, right? So we have this chair, okay, with four legs, okay? Let's just say four legs. And we're trying to solve for just one leg, right? So uh, we know that the force being applied here is just the force due to gravity, right? So it's just the weight force, which is mg, right? And so we know the total mass of the thing, right? We know the total mass is going to be 66 kilograms, right, of all four legs. But what we want to do is just take account one leg, right? So if there's four legs, okay, what we want to do is just go ahead and divide this by four, right? Since it's 66 kilograms on all four of them, we just want to find one so we can divide this by four. So essentially, it's just going to be one fourth, right, times the mass, which is 66. So just one fourth mg is going to be the force here, right? So now we know that we know the force, right? So it's going to be equal to one over four mg. And then what's the area? So they give us the area, right? We're just told it uh, right away. So what we can do is just go ahead and plug stuff in. But there's going to be a quick change we have to make when we do it. But let's just start with the top. So one over four times the mass which is 66 kilograms of our entire thing, right? We could have just done the mass of the one leg, but we're just going to leave it in, right? And multiply by one over four times G, which is just the four or just gravity, right? So 9.8 meters per second squared. And then on the bottom, keep in mind, they give us the area, but they give it in centimeters squared. And we have meters up here, so we need to convert it into meters squared. So we have 0 0.02 centimeters uh, squared, right? And so... What we need to do, though, is make sure that it's in meters squared. So if we want to convert it to meters, we know one meter is the same as uh, 100 centimeters, right? But keep in mind, this is centimeters squared, so we have to square this whole thing, right? So we need to square that whole thing, actually. And so what we want to do, right, because this will become centimeters squared, cancel with this, and we'll just have meters squared. So essentially, uh, 100 squared is 10,000. So essentially what you just want to do is... Uh, divide that number by 10,000. That's just the quick way to do it. But this right here will work. So just plug this in your calculator, right? You want to do 1 fourth or 0 0.25 times 66, multiply that by 9.8, right? And then divide that by uh, 0 0.02 and then times uh, 1 over 10,000, uh, 10, right? And so when you go ahead and do this, you're going to get that it equals, yes, yeah, so when you go ahead and do this, you're going to get that it equals about, right? So I'm going to round this two to scientific notation. So it's just going to be 8.085 times 10 to the seven. And then the units are just become, because this is a Newton, right? This is force. And then on the bottom, we have meters squared. So it's just Newton meters squared. But yeah, so hopefully, uh, right, this is going to be your answer. So for A, 8.085 zero eight five times ten to the seven newton over meters squared but yeah so a now let's do b so b is going to be basically using the same stuff it's going to be equal to the force over uh area so just the same thing except for uh the force right it's just going to be mg again because we just have this elephant right but we're just taking into account the whole thing right or one foot right and the area is going to be 800 centimeters squared but since it's all on one thing we don't have to divide by four right so it's just going to be the mass Right, which is going to be uh, 1300. Then we multiply that by the uh, gravity, which is just 9.8 meters per second squared. And then we divide, and then keep in mind, this one's also given centimeters squared, so we have to convert it into meters squared. So 800 centimeters squared, and then the same thing. So one meter squared, or sorry, one meter over 100 centimeters, and then square this whole thing, right? Because this is gonna become squared, cancels, and then we'll just have meters squared. So go ahead and do this, right? So do 1300 times 9.8 and then divide that by 800 divided or multiply by one over uh, 100 squared, right? So when you go ahead and do this, you're gonna get 159250, right? And so what I'm gonna do is just go one, two, three, four, five and just say it's about 1.59 times 10 to the fifth Newton uh, meter squared. So the same units, right? So Newton over meter squared, uh, 
times 10 to the fifth newton over meters squared but yeah so this is going to be the pressure for b of the elephant and then this is uh your answer to a but yeah so hopefully you found this useful